Rayman Legends 100% walkthrough. This will be for Castle in the Clouds, which is in the second major painting of Toad Story. Well, the third painting of Toad Story, but it's inside Toad Story, which is the second major painting of Rayman. You know what I mean. So, Castle in the Clouds is an interesting level. It's got more wind, that's one thing, and it's got a heck of a lot of wind. Most of this level you will be spent flying around, gliding around, collecting the teensies, running into the links of the lums. Once again, you need 600 lums and 10 teensies total to 100% this level. And the first one is actually a royalty teensy, which is up in that rock. And this teensy is a little bit difficult to get, at least early on. It's probably one of the harder ones. And that's just because you need to glide up in the wind, then jump on the parachutes of these enemies. Now if you want to, you can try to get between the parachute and the enemy itself and jump on them like this and just kind of make your way over to where you need to go. That way you can get the teensy and you also get lums for killing the enemies. But you really have to jump on the enemies of, like, somehow, either on the parachute or on themselves to get on to the next wind. The second minor teensy will be jumped on by that guy, and of course be sure to defeat any enemies you run into and any random plants you see just so you can get as many lums as possible so you don't risk getting 599 lums and then getting to the end of the level and then being like, ah, I have to redo the whole level now. That's really annoying. So there will be another teensy up there, just use the wind, because there's a lot of wind. So much wind, and destroy that wall of uh, wall of bones, and move over here. This coin isn't really that hard to get, just try not to go down too far or you will probably die, and then uh, fly on up so you can get as far away from that spiky plant as possible, and so you can get the third teensy. Now, I had someone ask me, uh, like, how do I know I'm getting all the teensies? Well, when I collect a teensy, you can see in the top right corner one of the circles kind of expands, saying, yes, this teensy goes there. So even though I have already collected them all before, because as I've said in the previous videos, if I were to create a new file, I'd have to delete this one because there are no, there's like, there's not file 1, 2, 3, 4, for whatever reason, that doesn't exist. But as you see, I collect here, it comes up and it expands the fourth one on the left, so it's, uh, you know, it's, you can just check there. If I accidentally miss one, uh, I'm gonna try to avoid that, but if I do, I'll just put some location arrow on the video. I'll just have a big arrow pointing in the direction that it, it is. <laughs> Now for here, I'm going to show why you don't want to do something, but first you want to get this coin. And that can be a little bit, uh, a little bit challenging, but not really. But what you don't want to do is destroy that wall of bones, because if you do, you'll kind of jitter about, jump up and down, grab onto the ledge, nothing will work for you. Try to get up there again, jump down, and then die. So what you want to do instead is keep that wall of bones there and use it to wall jump so you can get to the other royalty. Oh no, I think it's just regular teensy. And yes, it is just a normal teensy, so uh, watch out for that. <laughs> and you can destroy it on your way back down if you want to, but no reason to. Watch out for that big guy and be sure to get this little pack of lums here just in case you need any extras fly up in between here now it's kind of times like these when it's sort of well for this one you have to fly up here to get this royalty teensy and then you're gonna need to just kind of float down to the left try to avoid the giant spiky fish and get the teensy but what i was saying was that there's a point in some levels where it doesn't matter which way you take up or down you're gonna get to the same place and sometimes there's nothing either one in either way so uh, hopefully I can explain what that means later on but uh, basically I should just say explore everywhere and try to leave no stone unturned because uh, this game is really good at hiding things right where you would expect them and also hiding them right where you would not expect them. It's so like here, if I were to go on the top or the bottom, it wouldn't matter, uh, but I'm gonna go back and go kill that enemy just because I want the extra lums. 
And I'm nearing the end of the level now. Just jump onto this mushroom. And for here, it's a running type of situation. It's auto-scrolling, I guess you could call it, because you're being chased by spiky vines. So be careful here, you want to make sure to jump on their parachutes, or as I said before, you can try to jump between them to jump on each enemy and then continue. And you will be chasing this last teensy. You probably won't catch up to it until that point. But once you get that TNZ, then you should have close to 600 lums, and these lums here should give you enough to push you over that 600 mark.